Mead in five, Dix in six, Blake in seven, Cirillo in eight, and Ainsley War of Jamaica in lane nine on the outside. In terms of the diamond standings for this race with Usain Bolt, well, we've just seen him produce that world leading time in the 100 meters. Walter Dix already had the Diamond League race wrapped up. And here's the world 100 meter champion, Johan Blake. Just his fourth outing over the longer sprint for 2011. Rondel Cirillo from Trinidad and Tobago on the outside. Seventh in the world championships in Daegu and then in lane 9 Ainsley War 29 years old now season's best of 20.5 but they're the two main protagonists Walter Dix the diamond race winner in lane 6 Johan Blake just on his outside in lane 7 training partner of Usain Bolt is Johan Blake, Bolt characterizes him as a beast as he trains with a real fervor and as John's pointed out he has grand designs on taking down Usain Bolt in both the 1 and the 200 meters testing himself over the longer sprint here tonight so a good clean start Walter Dix got out well already, he's eaten up the stagger on Johan Blake. Coming into the straight, let's see who has the advantage. It's Walter Dix from Johan Blake, but now Blake beginning to respond. And Blake pouring it on down the straight. Yo Johan Blake pulling away from Walter Dix. It's going to be a scintillating time. 19.26 seconds for the world lead. Johan Blake, absolutely sensational. Taking victory over Walter Dix. In the quickest time in the world this year, 19.26 seconds, which is the second fastest man of all time. He moves ahead of Michael Johnson, and that seemingly unassailable 19.32 from Atlanta. And the only man now in front of him on the world's all-time leading standings is his compatriot and his training partner, Usain Bolt, with that world record 19.19. The stadium on their feet. An absolutely sensational performance from Johan Blake. And it's as though he can scarcely believe it. Ronald, unbelievable. Because as far as I was concerned, Johan Blake ran the easiest turn I've ever seen in the 200 meters. Walter Blake ate up the stagger as quickly as he possibly could. Walter Dix comes off the turn with all power, but Johan Blake says, uh-uh. This race is mine today. He puts his foot down with 40 meters to go. He just keeps pouring it on and he drives hard towards that tape and stopping the clock at an unbelievable 19.26. Everybody in this stadium gasped. It was a sensational performance. It was a poor, unbelievable show of power, of determination, of grit. Johan Blake now arrives in the world of sprinting, showing he is the complete sprinter. A 100 meter world champion and now the second fastest 200 meter runner in history. Well, Harry Akins Arita, there you see a hug from the man who must be a little bit concerned come next year in London 2012 because he knows that his training partner is no joke, chasing him down in terms of time. And not often you see somebody taking half a second from their 200 meter personal best in just his fourth outing over the longer sprint for the year. Walter Dix was dragged around to a time of 19.53. And that 19.53 is the fourth fastest of all time. Now, of course, he's the second fastest American ever. 